Good evening. Glasgow is the rodent capital of Scotland. That's the finding from research which suggests as the country emerged from the pandemic, the city's population of rats and mice thrived. Last year, the city's council dealt with more than 10,000 rodent infestations. That's up 31% from 2020. By comparison, Edinburgh City Council were called out just over 1,500 times. Fife also saw a big jump in rodents being reported in the years since COVID, but on a smaller scale. Fewer pest control visits were carried out during lockdown, and those on the front line say the problem is getting worse. Caroline Lewis reports. In the earth here, you can see evidence of rats through their burrows. Gemma Sutherland is tasked with keeping Glasgow's rat population under control. But since the pandemic, that has become increasingly difficult. At least in the last couple of years, um, there's been a rise in rodent populations and call-outs um, from lockdown, particularly over the last year. I know there's definitely a lot more tenement buildings in Glasgow with rodent issues than there had been before. Closed restaurants during lockdown forced rats into residential areas in search of food. But Gemma says the quiet streets and an ever-plentiful food supply have seen populations thrive. Particularly the amount of rubbish has changed, a lot of fly tipping, a lot of litter. It's difficult if there's no cleanup and the rubbish is still there, so we could essentially try and control one population of rats and then another population of opportunistic rats will come in in its place. Last year, more than 1,500 people reported rats in their home to the council's pest control service. But while this was just a marginal increase from pre-pandemic levels, the number of rats being seen in gardens and streets has risen by almost 25%. This video was recently circulated on social media, showing council refuse workers attempting to collect a bin infested with rats. The union, which represents them, says scenes like this are becoming a more common occurrence, putting staff's health and safety at risk. You should see two or three rats a week. I see them on a daily basis now. They're coming off a the railway, they're going into the back courts, they're no doubt going into people's houses. They're on the, uh, our members' feet, they're on their backs. Um, it's absolutely horrendous. The union says cuts have left staff stretched to capacity, leaving them unable to effectively clean the streets, something the council disputes but refused to speak to STV on camera today, instead sending this statement. Residents have a vital role in restricting the presence of rodents in and around their property, adding keeping outdoor areas tidy and well-maintained would deter rodents both indoors and outdoors. But with those on the front line of the war on rodents saying there is an escalating problem and a potential bin strike on the horizon, the problem with rats isn't one that's going away anytime soon. So, Caroline, it seems several factors play into the situation. Well, absolutely, and this isn't going to be an issue that is solely confined to Glasgow, but, you know, it is a big city, so it has a bigger problem. But it may have started with the pandemic, but we all remember those scenes last year of rubbish piled up in the streets during the, stri the strikes in the summer. And due to proposed changes to bin collections um, that are happening now, workers are considering more industrial action this year. So we could once again see those sites. But we have to remember that council budgets across the country have been chipped away for years. In fact, earlier today, Audit Scotland uh, said budget constraints are putting councils under severe strain and highlighted environmental services as one of their major concerns. Now, back in Glasgow, the council says that they have hired 40 more people into the refuge collection team. However, the union says that has been over a two or three year period and it's just not enough to plug the gaps that they're facing so that they can effectively clean the streets. Darling, thank you.